A Terre Haute woman in jail tonight facing attempted murder charges. Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. It is a case police call bizarre. They say yesterday afternoon, a woman showed up at a couple's Prairie Creek house, attacked them with a knife as she tried to steal their baby. It's very disturbing. News 10's Jessica Hayes joins us now with the very latest. Jessica? Patrice, police say yesterday, 34-year-old Stephanie Foster showed up at Michael and Ashley Spears' house and asked to use the phone. Once inside, though, Foster allegedly stabbed the couple in an effort to ultimately steal their baby. Over the last several months, Foster reportedly faked a pregnancy. Police say Foster told them she found the Spears' birth announcement in the newspaper about a month ago and decided to target the family. Her intent, police said, was to steal the baby around her would-be due date and claim him as her own. Never seen anything this bizarre except on TV. Um, you know, in a, in a uh, crime drama. Uh, it just shouldn't and couldn't have happened here in, in our community, but it, it did. Marvel said Foster stabbed Ashley Spear while her husband slept nearby. Michael Spear heard the attack and was also stabbed while subduing Foster. Ashley Spear then called 911. Neighbors we talked to were shocked when they heard the news. I was scared. Um, of course, uh, with all the children, children in the neighborhood, um, it, you come to Prairie Creek thinking nothing's going to happen like that here. I've talked to the children more about locking the doors and keeping them locked where we didn't, didn't used to do that before, didn't have to. Michael Spear has been released from the hospital, but his wife does remain hospitalized in stable condition. Stephanie Foster is in the Vigo County Jail without bond and is expected to be formally charged Monday. Mark, back to you. Thank you, Jessica. The Vigo County Prosecutor tells News 10 the 911 tape will not be released because it will likely be used as evidence in the case against Foster.